Hey everybody out there in AKK Interwebs land, this is your friendly neighborhood black belt, Mr. Mickey D. Now this video is all about just telling you guys about our, about sparring gear. Not necessarily getting into the actual act of sparring, it's going to be another video. But just about our sparring gear here. Now a few points I like to make about our gear. One, the gear that we have our students wear is safe. Century Martial Arts tests all of their equipment, all their stuff is third party tested, we can actually get you some of those results too. It's just amazing what they put into it. Two, we like the P2 gear. It allows our students to move, it's a good quality product, and it gives them even more, even more padding onto it. Three, I want this to last. I want this to be an investment that lasts a minimum of four years. There are some ways that it doesn't last four years. Mostly it's just kind of being negligent and cleaning our gear, leaving it in a hot trunk, sweat eats it up. So let's get into it here. Now our first, first, first piece that we're going to talk about is just the headgear here. Now this P2 headgear covers the whole head, covers up into the jaw line through here. You can see the jaw rests right into there comfortably. It also has a face shield. For most tournaments that kids are going to go into, if you're underneath the age of 17, you must wear this face shield. You must absolutely have it. Now what's great about this face shield, it's about the same type of product that you're going to see those NHL hockey players wearing as a half face shield to protect their eyes. The NHL felt so strong about this, stuff, this sort of thing here. It is required by all players who have come into the league since the last three years, they must wear a half face shield to protect the eyes, and that's what this does. As you see, that gap is not big enough to allow a fist into it. Their head also rests back about that far from it. So the closest their eyes are is right where you see my hand here. So a lot of protection, not just to the orbital sockets, the jawbone, the teeth, the nose, everything. All this extra padding around the temple, the top of the head, the back of the head, all through here. Now kind of demonstrate the difference between a regular sparring gear and the P2 level. This is how thick a regular sparring gear is throughout. This is how thick that P2 is mostly throughout the whole thing there. Just some small areas where we don't have it, but it's also covered by some more padding there. So that's the P2 headgear. Moving along, to check out the boots. Now again, like I say, I want our gear that you order to last at least four years. Now there are some ways that it gets damaged, allow a pet to get onto it, leave it in a trunk, it's gonna get sweaty, it's gonna get hot, and it's gonna kind of destroy itself. Now one of the ways, uh, however, that we keep this thing last for four years, we order it a little bit big. Okay, I want them to grow up into it. The boots are honestly one of the things that kids will grow out of, however, when we order them, we like to see their feet. If I can get their toes to at least right here, that gives us all that growing room into. And you may think that's a lot of extra space onto there, but we get a, even more coverage down here to keep their foot into there, make it a lot easier. So in this boot, we take this strap that's on the back, the way it latches on, we go over the top. Underneath the foot, we create another X on top here and strap it onto the back. Now if I have a foot being in there, it just kind of looks like it's squeezed in there. But it gives your kiddo another layer that's going to hold their foot in there, allow them to move comfortably, easily, and quickly. Moving on to our next piece, the hand gear. All students are required to have hand gear. So again, here's the difference between your regular hand gear and your P2 thickness of the hand gear. Now again, we can order this big. Um, mostly because if we can get a kiddo's hand to come up into here, you the parent can help them or they can help themselves push it down. Once they latch onto those two things, now we can get the thumb in there. We strap this around. Even on a smaller hand, if this is big, what we actually end up getting is forearm coverage, how about halfway, sometimes all the way down, to protect that forearm even more when they're throwing their blocks and everything there. Last piece that we're gonna talk about is a chest protector. Again, all students are required a chest protector, adult and junior included. This is the P2 chest protector. This is my absolute favorite. There are some that are a lot thicker. They're gonna protect them more, but boy, are they hard to move in. Really, really are. There's some that are a lot lighter, easier to move in, but you're gonna feel every strike. It's basically a shirt with a little bit of padding woven in the shirt, only in the front. Now these P2s, again, it's something we can order big because we can hem it up. We use a little bit of Velcro tape, you can find that at any Walmart, and just put the tape up front, latch it on there, pulls it to tighter onto your kiddo. We also take a piece of Velcro tape here and one on the bottom, latch them together here, keeps it held up high. When we order these big, the biggest problem honestly is it hanging low. Doing this keeps it held up high so when they throw a kick, 
the thigh doesn't hit the bottom of this and it doesn't come up and throat punch them while they're sparring. Again, just another trick that allows you to let this thing be an investment that lasts for a long, long time. So if you have any questions, please post them below, uh, comment, hit like, make sure you subscribe to our channel, and we'll check you guys out later. Thank you very, very much. Bye.